Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the unique length 3 palindromic subsequences. The number for this is 1930 and it is a lead code medium. But I am sure that it will be an easy question for you if you watch the video till this. So let's begin with the problem. So the problem states that you are given with a string s and you have to return the number of unique palindromic length subsequences that are of length 3. And uh, there can be multiple ways to obtain the same sum sequence and it is only counted once. If uh, you don't know what a palindrome is, so a palindrome is a string that reads same from uh, both the ends, forward and backward. Like the string ABA is a palindrome and the word Nitin is also a palindrome, N-I-T-I-N and the word Malayalam also is a palindrome. So and a subsequence is a new string generated from the characters of the uh, original string by deleting some of the characters in between but the relative order of the characters remains the same so uh, let me give you just about the problem so the problem asks you to count the count of unique palindrome of length 3 that are the subsequence of the given string s and a palindrome and to count these palindromes we can iterate through the string finding the first and the last characters occurrences of each character and checking the characters in between and then we can return the answer now let me show you an, through an example uh, let's say we take this example I have an example solution in the solution section you can go into the solution section of the lead code you can see my solution so here I have given the first the example explanation for this string you can take this string uh, count the first and the last occurrences and in between how many unique characters so two unique characters and this so we can definitely make two palindromic count from there like for this we can make a and a are the occurrences so we can make a b a a c a and also a a a so this is how we will going to be code this uh, in approach so let's start with the code but before that please do like the video subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends so first of all we are going to iterate through each character but before that we need to change the input to uh, char array because it is easy to operate on so we have come converted into the char, char array and we also need a boolean visited array so let's take a boolean visited array we need some counters Now we are, we are going to iterate through each character from A to Z. So let's take x equal to A first. x is less than equal to Z. And x plus plus. And then we are going to iterate on the uh, input string. Basically, we are finding the first and the last occurrences of each uh, each character, so that's why we are iterating on the string. And we need to also check in this condition: x c of l is not equal to x. And simply, we have to do l plus plus here. I have put a semicolon because we want to skip this iteration. You can use continue as well. No, continue won't work. Like you have to skip those elements. So that's why I have done.
so this is my logic to find the first and the last occurrences of each characters then what we can do is simply do the arrays dot fill fill the visited array with false and put t equal to 0 first and then iterate from l plus 1 we have to go till i think uh, i think we have to go till r let's check and if v of c of i is false then in that case we have to do v of v of c of i equal to true t plus plus and uh, if t reaches 26 at any point simply break and here I think uh, you have to do a plus equal to t return a let's check if everything is fine or not some errors this simply this square brackets were missing sample test cases are accepted let's check you can you can see a very good run time and a very good space so that uh, let's come to the complexity analysis so the time complexity for this solution is o of n and the solution iterates through the string once for each character that's why we have said that time complexity is o of n and the space complexity is o of 1 uh, because the visited which we have used is of constant size and uh, this is actually we are take counting as an at as input only because this is the input string if you want we can do it in the string s itself only but and because it is easy to handle that's why we have converted that so this was my solution for today's problem i hope you liked the video thank you for watching the video have a nice day